Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlotthauer here, back with another detailed weather forecast. As you already noticed, another winter storm is going to bring tons of snowfall for the upstate portion of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine this weekend. And then we got to look at the Midwest as you all are bracing for another impactful winter storm with heavy snowfall and severe weather across the Deep South and the Midwest. So here's a look at the latest NAM 3 kilometer model for Friday night into Saturday morning. And as you can see, all the blue colors do indicate some light to moderate snowfall versus to the deep south or not the deep south but like pennsylvania area you're likely to see rainfall for much of this storm but as we go forward especially into saturday morning which the good thing about this is it will happen during the weekend when not a lot of commuters will be out and about in the morning hours commuting to their destination but still, this is going to impact much of your weekend festivities. If you had anything planned outdoors, probably not going to be a good idea to do that because we're looking at lots of snowfall across upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. But then you want to know something else? Look at the red on your screen. That's an indication we could have some freezing rain in some of the valley locations. So keep that in mind. If you're prone to freezing rain, you could get some of that with this upcoming storm because we have cold air being trapped at the surface with warm air overriding that. But south of that is where we're going to be looking at lots of the light to moderate to even heavier rainfall. Look at this over portions of New Jersey as well as downtown New York. We're talking about moderate to heavy rainfall that could lead to flood concerns along to go with some strong winds too as this system quickly develops. We also got some showers and thunderstorms that may pop up across Boston, Massachusetts as well as portions of Cape Cod versus if you are down there across uh, Maine, you have all four different precipitation types. You go from rain along the coast to freezing rain a little bit inland to sleet even further than that and then snow across the northern end of the storm. So a huge transition here just from rain over to snow. And then it looks like by Saturday night into Sunday morning, that system moves out towards the east and you all are left with much colder temperatures. However, it will be dry. With that being said, here's a look at those snowfall totals on the European model. This is pretty concerning, and a lot of you might be agreeing with me on this one. For central New York, so like if you're in Buffalo, New York, maybe 5 inches. If you're in Watertown, maybe 8 inches of snowfall. But you go up here across northeastern New York State, you might get 1 to 2 feet feet of snowfall. If you're in central northern portion there of, say, Vermont, you could get two feet of snowfall. And look at this, maybe as much as 41 inches of snowfall in a matter of 24 to 48 hours as the heaviest snowfall moves over your area. So this storm looks pretty concerning for the extreme northeast. It's not just the snow that we have to be concerned about. It's also about how much rainfall could accumulate. Look at these rainfall totals. One to two inches across. If you're in Connecticut, if you're in Rhode Island, if you're in Massachusetts, you could see one to two inches of rainfall. Might even see up to two and a half in some isolated areas. And of course, to the north where it's going to be mainly in the form of snow, you would convert this over to total snowfall water equivalent, and that is two inches. So yeah, definitely a lot of snow with this system. And then of course, down here across Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware, New Jersey, you could see anywhere between about an inch to maybe an inch and three quarters. But guess what? There is more to this weather pattern that you might not even realize. There is another winter storm system that's going to develop rapidly across the Midwest and the High Plains starting Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday. And believe me, when I say big, this storm system has everything that you do not want to see with it. So as we move this forward into Saturday night, into Sunday, we could see where the surface flow actually is over eastern Colorado. This is what we call a Colorado Rocky Low. Say it with me in the chat if you didn't get that. We have this low pressure system that's going to rapidly develop and deepen 
And once we get that, we get a tightening surface pressure gradient. We get the dynamics that come together for a very big winter storm. So when we take a look at the GFS model for Saturday afternoon into Sunday early morning, we can see with what the surface pressure analysis indicates to us, surface pressure that is lower across eastern Colorado, that's where our system is going to rapidly develop, but it's not only that. Let's go and make this go forward because guess what? This what was not really a big system will become a monster by Sunday night into Monday morning. And take a look at that snow. We're talking moderate to heavy snowfall rates with some of the pink there. We might even see some thunder snow with this one as well. So if you're doing any morning commuting on Monday, I would really consider staying home. Do not go. Don't make the, um, the Department of Transportation work much harder than they should to clear off roads because you all want to get to work despite the heavy snowfall. And you can see that pressure gradient, 989 millibars to 1042 millibars. This system has a lot of impacts that we have not seen in a long time. And another thing that we really got to keep in mind is there's going to be some severe weather that could or likely will develop across central Texas, central Oklahoma, and Kansas with the potential we could see some wind damage. We could see tornadoes as well as some large hailstones with this because you got the dry line. You got the moisture that comes together. This system, like I said, is that dynamic for that to occur. Therefore, it is not a surprise right now that the Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for severe weather across northern Texas, western Oklahoma, and central and western Kansas. This is not just the one day that we're going to see it. We also have a day five slight risk for severe weather over Louisiana, Mississippi, western Tennessee, as well as central and southeastern Arkansas. And we can see why there is a day five slight risk for severe weather because we have another surface low that seems to develop here according to with what the GFS and the Euro are showing here with moderate to heavy rainfall. And again, if we get any supercell that rides the warm sector, I'm very sure and confident we could have a tornado and possibly a strong one if the dynamics come into perfect favorable alignment. So now you're probably already asking me how much snowfall are you all going to see with this winter storm for the weekend in early next week? Well right now it does not look good at all for many locations across the Dakotas. You could see as much as one to two feet of snowfall. And I'm not kidding. Even Mr. Dibble on YouTube has even mentioned there could be a couple of feet of snowfall potentially with this winter storm. Not only that, for southern portion of Minnesota, you might see as much as 30 to 40 inches of snowfall again if this comes true. But you want to know what's even more concerning? The heavy rainfall that Arkansas, Louisiana, portions of Tennessee, as well as Texas and Mississippi could end up getting latest GFS model here in a couple of days indicates that you might see as much as three to five inches of rainfall with isolated amounts up to six or seven inches in a two day period. That's going to lead to a lot of flood problems and a lot of rises on small creeks, rivers, and um, streams, as well as urban flooding and street flooding as well. So yeah, it's all about the heavy rainfall, strong winds, and heavy snowfall with late next week, late weekend in early next week's storm system that develops here over the Midwest. Now you might also be asking, why is this weather pattern going to be so wild and out of control? Well, you can blame it on the jet stream. And here's a look at the 500 millibar level at 18,000 feet above the surface. As we play this through very nicely, we can see there is our first trough ejecting into the high plains out of the Rockies, out of the Four Corners region. Every time this happens, you can predict and bet we're going to have a big winter storm system developing with severe weather. And that's not the only one. That moves through um, generously slowly with another short wave ejecting into the Midwest by next week, by late next week, that is, by the 29th and the 30th of March. Now, this is really far out on the global computer models, so we don't know exact details if this is actually going to happen. Now, anyways, if you did enjoy today's detailed weather forecast, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit the like button and share this video with your family and friends on social media. Due to the amplitude of this winter storm, um, with this wild weather, 
We are going to be doing a lot of uploading over the next couple of days here on the YouTube channel with a possible live stream for Saturday into Sunday as we are keeping an eye on that severe weather. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with their family and friends on social media. As always, I'll be back with you more tomorrow with the latest update on this monster storm.